I'm back again. I wanted to do a quick video all about my Kate Spade um, scallop tote, which I have in white. Um, so here it is from the front and the back. And yeah, I love it. So basically this bag, um, going to be brutally honest here, I actually was working with Kate Spade on my blog and Instagram about a year ago when they opened the shop in... London, the Regent Street shop, and I love Kate Spade, um, my aesthetic's very colourful, and I was so, so happy to be working with them, it was so much fun, it was like one of those like blogger dream come true, so I was ecstatic to be working with them, and they were opening a Regent Street store, and as part of the project I went to the shop opening party, which was very exciting, there was somebody there from Game of Thrones, there was all kinds of not even like rubbish celebrities, like actually really good celebrities. It was a lot of fun. It was a really fun party and I was excited to be there and it was great. And they dressed me head to toe in Kate Spade and it was just really fun. And then when I left, the cherry on the top of the cake was everybody who was at the party got a goodie bag. And inside the goodie bag, beautifully wrapped up with this bag. And um, it's super cute, like it's so cute. Like I love the little scallop touches. But actually when I got it, I know this sounds really ungrateful, but I was a bit like, oh, I don't really wear white bags. And I was a bit like, oh, I'm not sure what to do with it because I think it will get quite stained and I'm really mucky. And I'm just a really mucky classy, but I mean, I'm very lucky, you know. <laughs> like a really, you know, quite a lovely person. Um, and you know, I'm just mucky and untidy and I was like, I'm going to drop this bag in mud, I am going to scrape it on the tube, within a second it will be filthy with scratches and I was just a bit like, I don't wear white and I felt really ungrateful <laughs> because it was obviously an amazing, amazing project and it was an amazing party, but I, I remember at the time being like, I wish it was black or I wish it was pink or I wish it was blue or basically any other colour apart from white. And then about a week or two weeks after the party, um, my plus one, who also obviously got a bag, went, have you used your bag yet? It is amazing. And I was like, oh, I don't really wear white. And she was like, wear the bag, get over yourself. It's great. It's summer, wear white, what's your problem? And I was like, well, it is summer. So I, next time I went out and I was carrying like my iPad and some bigger, bigger things, bigger things. I was like, oh, I'm going to take that Kate Spade bag, give it a go. And as soon as I started wearing it, I just suddenly was like, I love this bag. I did a complete 180. I was suddenly beyond happy that it was white. I suddenly realised, actually, it's pretty quite clean. And I wore this bag all summer long. And then even when it was like autumn winter, I was still wearing this thing like, oh, it's winter white, which it really isn't. Um, I just love this bag. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I can't believe that when I first got it, I was such an ungrateful so-and-so that I didn't think it was such a good bag because it's actually brilliant. And I want to talk about why. So, first of all, it's a really nice upright shape. So whenever you've got it on the floor or on a table, it never like tips. So you never have that awkward tote tipping, bag falling out everywhere situation. And it's got little bubbles on the bottom which keep it, um, keep it like flat. So that's great. So you don't get the tippage thing. In terms of handle straps, or straps, or strap length, it's the perfect length because you can pop it under your arm without it being too tight and too close and too like, oh, this is cutting me off. But at the same time, you can hold it also like this without it being too dangling down. Um, and then, oh yes, so dirt wise, I was really worried about the dirt because I'm a clumsy so and so. And also I always carry like a biro with me. And I have to say, I do, I'm gonna be honest, I have like, I do have marks on it like there. Um, here, here there's some humdingers of marks. Well actually they're not that bad. Um, and then here on the other side, Sorry, the lights are blowing it out. And then where else? It's kind of it. But like, basically like, I have worn this bag 
loads. Like I said, like last summer, it was like my bag for everything. It was the equivalent of like my Chanel tote that this summer has like been ridiculous. I've worn every day. But like I wore this every day and like you can see on the inside, there's a lot of crap in there. But like, it just doesn't seem to have dirtied. I think it's just a really good white clean type leather. Um, I love the little scalloped edges. I think they're super cute. I love the little bow on the luggage tag. I love the fact that inside a luggage tag, it's not actually a luggage tab. It is a mirror. I think that's a really cute, very Kate Spadey detail. Um, the branding is quite subtle, but I have to say, it's one of those things that a lot of people noticed. Like so many people last summer when I was wearing it every day were like, oh my God, you're Kate Spade tag. And I was like, yeah, thanks. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute, it's a really cute bag and it's also really light, like when you put all your stuff in, a lot of bags get quite heavy quite quickly, but because the actual base weight of this isn't too bad, so that basically when you're carrying around your, all your things, like you just feel the weight of your things, you don't really feel the added weight of your handbag. Oh, and then also security wise, because a lot of people wonder about that, is it's got a little kind of side pocket here, but then it's got a little zippy pocket here. So on the tube, you might feel a bit like all oh, pickpocketers, but actually it's not that bad because it's so deep. You know, you really have to fumble around if you want to try and nick your purse out there. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a great bag. And if you can like, you often see you often see this bag in different finishes and different colours and also with a wider scallop than I've got. You often see it on sale and I think I think full price it's about £250 or £300. But I think like if you ever find this bag on sale um, in any colour, just get it because you will use it so much more than even I anticipated I would because I was like, oh, I'll never wear it or... That's such a shame, but actually I wear it all the time and I wore it all the time. I wore it all last summer and I would have been like, I am not buying that bag. It is white. I will trash it, but it's so white, clean, clean, cleanable, cleany, clean. It's so white, clean, so white, cleanable that um, it's fine. And... Yeah, it's just a really handy, practical tote bag that I think every every girl should have in her wardrobe. It's so good for walking around, so good for the beach, the cinema, shopping, everything you can imagine. This bag is good for, it is just one of those tote bags that you will buy and you will use all the time and then you will feel sorry for all your other handbags because you don't use them, you only use that one case weight bag. Um, and that is all I have to have to say on the subject. And I hope that was of help, but if ever you see one of these on sale, especially on sale, like if ever you see one and you're tempted, like buy it, like if you see it full price and you're like, oh, I fancy one of them, do you know what, buy it because you will use it a lot. But I have, I have seen it on sale quite a lot of times. My friend bought one on sale at the airport. Another friend of mine bought, my, bought one on sale in New York. Um, it is a bag that you often see at the end of the sale, um, on sale, if that makes sense. And also, the best part is, is you get lots of different colours that you can choose it in. 100% buy it because it's such a good bag. And don't worry about it being white because even though I'm basically the clumsiest, muckiest person in the whole world, like, mine looks pretty good. Like, I'm pretty pretty impressed with mine. Um, I hope that was of help. Um, let me know if you've got any questions and I hope I didn't ramble on about my handbag for too long. Thank you very much. Bye.